the Hajang are very diverse. But to ensure safety when conquering this mountainous area, please You're like a circle that around me, keeping me Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, a place where I share about Hajang traveling experiences. In the previous part, I share some general information about Hajang, what month to go to Hajang, what is the most beautiful season to go to Hajang, what does Hajang have, or how to go to Hajang. Today, I will share more with you about the vehicle to choose when coming to Hajang. The first is renting a motorbike. Because Hajang has a continuous steep terrain with many narrow roads and tight corners, motorbikes are the most suitable transport for the tourists. Motorbike rental service in Hajang are very diverse. But to ensure safety when conquering this mountainous area, please note that when choosing a bike, don't find it cheaper 20 or 30,000 is a good bargain because the quality might be very bad. And remember that overall, new bike is still much safer for you. In short, choosing a good motorbike rental unit is not easy. If your driving skill is bad or cannot bear the extreme road here, you can choose the second form of transportation that is traveling by taxi, helping you more flexible and more protective across the trip. In addition, you can also hire a driver to guide you through the trip. They will show you interesting places and local specialties that few tourists know because usually they have a lot of good stories that they can share with you along the way. Choosing any motel, homestay, or hostel is also something that you need to know. There are not many resorts in Hajang, but there are some places that bring extremely memorable experience for visitors. Topping the list in terms of luxury definitely is Papu Resort, 13 kilometers from the center of Hajang. But in my personal opinion, I would suggest staying in a homestay like a local people to experience the life of the minorities people here. In Hajang, the most popular type of accommodation is two to three star hotel with affordable prices, ready to serve a wide range of tourists from families, group of friends to couples. Or the homestay is also an ideal choice for young people traveling to Hajang on their own. Who want to have the closest and the most authentic local cultural experience at a reasonable cost? Many homestays are set up by the local people and provides the service of cooking meal with the host. Homestays are often decorated in a very special way, which bring a lot of memories. This is also an easy choice for backpackers because homestays are available in most area in Hajang. Some suggestions for beautiful homestays that are popular are the link in the description below. Hotel, motel, homestay, or motorbike rental in Haja during peak season are always full, so you should book your accommodation one to two months in advance. I will help you quickly update the best and the latest booking deals in Haja, helping you always have room service, homestay, motorbike, and bus services available to you. Of course, coming to Hajang, we cannot ignore the famous check-in places such as Quan Ba Heaven Gates, Fairy Twin Mountain, Dong Van Old Town, Luku Flag Tower, or Map Bilang Pass, and Tusan Canyon. All these famous places have been summarized by me in the video of check-in point that should not be missed in Hajang below. You should check it out.
So what about the schedule? How many days does it take to go to Ajang? How long does it take to go to all of those wonderful places? Of course, my answer to you is the longer the better. But if you have limited amount of time, you should arrange your journey for four days, three nights, or three days, two nights is great. Unlike going to Da Nang, Nha Trang or Hue, if you only spent one or two days traveling to Ha Giang on your own, it's definitely not enough. The unique places in Ha Giang stretching along the provinces require a lot of traveling and you also need more time to be able to drive safely. If you do not have much time, you can choose the option of traveling to Ha Giang for three days, two nights on the weekends. Just take a bus from Hanoi to Ha Giang from Friday night and get on the bus back in the evening on Sunday so you can go to work on Monday morning. Check out some of these schedule from my Hajang video in the description.